Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on a pie chart. It says that there are six departments in a college. Each department has a different number of professors. Each department has undergraduate and postgraduate students. This pie chart gives the distribution of professors in these departments and the table gives the number of students per professor. Okay, so based on this, we need to answer the questions. Now, if you look at the pie chart of professors, the values, all these values are multiples of 2.5. Okay, so uh, like if we divide 100 by 2.5, we get a factor of 40. Okay, so that means we can have the number of professors as 40 and multiples of 40, like 40, 80, 120, etc. So that could be the number of professors. So let us say the number of professors is 40x. So this means this will be 6x, 7x, this will be 5x, 4x, this is 8x and 10x. Now we are given that uh, no department has more than 20 professors. So this is the highest number. So we cannot go up to 120. We will have 40 or 80. So basically x is equal to 1 or 2. So that we need to figure out. Now this gives the ratio of this number of students per professor. Students per professor. So if it has 6 then you multiply it, you will get 40x. Okay, this will be 7 into 10, 70x. Since these are in the same order English, economics, law, history, geography, and Hindi. So, third is 5x, this is 30x. Okay, then 15 into 4, 60x. Then 3.75 into 8 is 30x. And we have 10x and into 4, 40x. Now, x is 1 or 2. Now, next thing we are given as there are two kinds of students undergraduate and postgraduate students. Okay. So, their sum is this. What are we given that the number of undergraduate students in a department is a positive multiple of 10, not more than 90. So, it ranges from 10 to 90. Okay. Uh, may not be uh, this may not be all numbers possible but that is the range given to us it cannot be beyond 90 it cannot be less than 10 the number of pg students in history and economics is 20 and 40 respectively history it is 20 economics is 40 okay now if you take x is equal to 1 the total will be 70 if you take x is equal to 2 the total will be 140 but if we take 140 here, we will get UG as 100, which is against this condition, which says that you cannot have more than 90 numbers, 90 students in the UG section. So this means that uh, this X is 1. Okay, so we get a unique value of X and then we can answer the questions. So these are the number of students in these colleges, in these departments. So it has 30 and it has 40 students right now uh, we will have to answer the questions we cannot fill further data because that is the only information available with us so the first question is how many students are there in the college so simply add these values 110 140 200 270 how many departments definitely have more pg students than ug students so if you look at this department it has more PG students, 40 PG students and 30 UG. Now these 40, we have to tell definitely have more than that. Okay. So this department can have less PG students. We can have 30, 10 like this. Okay. In this department also, we can have 20, 10 more UG students. In this also, we can put 20, 10. In this also, we can put 30, 10. So these definitely, we cannot say that these have more PG students. But only in economics, we can say that it definitely has more PG students. So the answer is 1. We cannot determine the number of students in other departments. But we can tell that only economics definitely has. Rest of them may have subject to conditions. If no two departments have an identical number of UG and PG students, what can be the maximum number of PG students in the college? Now, what do we mean by identical number of UG and PG students? 
So this means let us say a college has 30 students. It has 10 and 20. Now if another college has 30 students, it cannot have 10 and 20. It will have 20, 10, it can have 30, 10, etc. Okay. So this is the thing we need to keep in mind. Now we need to find the maximum number of PG students. Now if you look at this condition, right, uh, the first one that is English, we need to maximize PG. So we can go up to 30 and make it 10. We need to put the maximum here. So we will put the maximum possible which is 30. We cannot make it 40 otherwise UG will become 0. So we will keep it at 30. Then next comes law. So we can put maximum 20. We will try to give minimum to UG. Now when we come to geography, we cannot put 20 and 10. Although this is the maximum number of PG students it can have, it says that identical number should not be there. So we cannot put 20 10. We will have to put 20 in UG and 10 in PG. Okay. Then if we come to Hindi, we cannot put 30 here because 30 is 30 10 combination is already done. So we can at max put 20 and 20 here. So this is the total that we have to get. So this is uh, uh, 50, 50, uh, 70, 90, 110, 120, 140. So we have the total as 140. Okay. Next question is. Uh, which of the following cannot be the ratio of UG students in law to UG students in Hindi? UG students in law to Hindi. So, one ratio uh, 3 will happen when 10 and 30 are present. Okay. Can law have 10, <coughs> 10 UG students and Hindi have 30? Yes, that is possible. See, it is independent of the previous question, right? This, these are independent questions. Do not take number from this. So law can have 30, 10 and 30 possible because 30, 40 are there. So it is possible. 2 and 1, we can have 20 and 10. That is also possible. Okay. Then 3 and 2, can law have 30 students and 20 here? See, we are not given that any of the, some students might mark this as the answer, but see that it is not given that law cannot have, like there is necessarily PG students. No, none of the statements say that you need to have PG students in a college. Okay, so it is possible to have 30 and 20 also. Then 4 ratio 3 means like if you take, uh, since these are all multiples of 10, you have to take 40. You cannot make it 20 and 15, right? If you make any multiple of uh, 10 like this, if you make it 20, it will result in 15, which is anyway not possible. Okay, and if you make 40, then this is 15. So we cannot have 40 UG students in law. So this ratio is not possible. Okay. Now coming to the last question, which of the following statements is definitely false? Okay, definitely false means that it should be false in all conditions. Exactly one department has no PG student. Okay, so we are not given that. See, we are given that each department should have UG students as a positive multiple of 10 but no information about pg students okay we are just given about two departments so a department can have no pg student right it is not false it can be true also okay so we have to tell which is definitely false two departments can have an equal number of ug and pg students okay so equal number of ug and pg student means like you will take a multiple of 20 so we can have 20 20 here right or uh, we have to think that can two departments have this so this is 2020 okay and similarly see this is independent of the third question and another department 30 30 is not possible we can have 20 and 20 so we can have two departments that have an equal number of ug and pg students so this is also not definitely false each department has a distinct number of ug students can each department have a distinct students? This is 40 uh, UG students. Okay, so this is 30, this is 40. Okay, so it cannot have like, uh, there are six departments. Okay, so if you take multiples of six, so you'll have to take at least 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, you'll have to take these different numbers. Now, none of the departments, uh, if you see these 70 is done, this is done. So none of the departments can get 50. 
Okay, so you will see that there will be an overlap. So if you take 40, you will have to take 10, 20 or 30. If you take 30, you will have to take 10 or 20. Okay, if you take, see, if you take these two, these two departments that have 30 students, you will have to take 10, 20. So one of them will have 10, one of them will have 20. Okay, so now in 40, if, even if you take 30, you cannot, uh, or you can take 40 also. But what about this department? So when you come to 40, right so you will have to uh, take one of the repeated numbers right so we cannot get or if you take uh, so these 4 10 20 are already taken and this has uh, 30 and 40 okay so when you come to 40 if you take 10 and 20 here it will have 30 or 40 which will be which will end up in repeating the number so we cannot have distinct students in each of the departments because these two are given to us 30 and 40 even if you take this separate like 10 and 20 this will like when you take this 40 this will be either 30 or 40 this also will be 30 or 40 so there will definitely be a repeat in numbers okay so it is not possible and the last one says that then of course only one has to be first there are a total of 100 pg students in the college so pg students is 60 we can have 40 pg students 10 10 10 10 distribute kardo, which is quite possible okay so this is the wrong statement so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions